I follow my friend Craig Campbell to um, the Montreal Comedy Festival. He's on the festival. I'm not on the festival. Uh, just hanging out. But you'd already done comedy all. a little bit at this point. Doing comedy, okay. yeah. Um, I remember watching Dave Attell. I remember watching Joe Rogan um, in Montreal. And there's a little club called the Comedy Works. And I know I've worked there. Like, I'd work there, done shows there. And uh, just hanging about, you know, just hanging, taking it all in, just being superstars are everywhere. Um <laughs> And um, I'm, they go, hey, hey, Ian, so-and-so hasn't shown up for their set. Can you go on? I'm like, fuck yeah. <laughs> so I go on, and this guy named Lucian Hold comes to me afterwards and goes, hey, if you're in New York, I want to put you on stage. I'm like, what? So I got a business card, and I'm like, I'm moving to New York. That's what that's, in, that, that's, I'm that young. I'm that young. I'm that naive. And I'm that driven. This guy's like, I'll put you on stage. You're like, cool. What he means is for like five minutes at a time, yeah. one time a month. And you're like, I'm moving there. Well, yeah. And, 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 and so uh, meanwhile, I'm at this festival and I'm, I'm living with a girl in Vancouver and I'm calling her back via pay phone and putting coins in the phone. And she says, I need you need to come home. I need to talk to you. So I'm like, OK, so this is in Montreal. I got to get all the way back to Vancouver. I hitchhike and get rides all the way back to Vancouver. No shit. Yeah. And oh, this girl, of course, is the first time I'm in love. This girl dumps me on my ass. And I'm like, well, you could have done that on the phone. Yeah. I was like, Why did I need to drive back here for this? Uh, my favorite, my favorite part was she said to me, you're just not around enough. By the way, I've met a sailor. <laughs> um, did you really? I met a sailor. <laughs> He's going to be here forever. I'm like, oh, I don't know if you know what sailors do. Uh, anyways, uh, um, I'm sorry. That must have been painful. Oh, it was very painful. So, but I figure I, I'm less like, okay, but he's told me to go to New York. She's dumped me. Now is the time. I take a couple more months. Uh, I get another gig in Montreal at the, uh, at the comedy nest or the comedy works. And I go in there and I do a weekend. I make $800 Canadian. I take that money and I buy a train ticket to New York and then I turn the rest into American money, which probably came out to around 600, 500. Yeah. Something like that. And I got on the train and I went to New York with not knowing anybody, but this guy, Lucian Holt, who had given me a card. Um, you didn't have a, like, wait, did you go there just to visit? Were you going to, you're moving there at this point? I'm, I'm going, I'm going. Like I got everything I own. I'm on the train. Uh, the, uh, the border come, border patrol comes through and asks everybody what they're going to New York for, and oh, I God. say I'm, I say I'm a writer. I'm going to write about New York. They didn't ask me where I was staying. Thank God, because you didn't have anywhere. I didn't have anywhere to stay. Uh, I get down there. I, 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 as the train's coming into New York, I just see the filth of that, <laughs> <fucking trail>. and. <laughs> And the, you're like, oh, this isn't Vancouver. <laughs> yeah, that's that's exactly. Oh. I might have made a huge mistake. Huge mistake. <laughs> write on, write my write my name and number. Write my name and my parents' phone number on on a piece of paper and put it in my sock. That's <laughs> <laughs> these who you call when you find my dead body. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I did, right? So I get off the I get off the train and there's a piece of paper and it says youth hostel fourteen dollars a night. Oh my god, dude. I fucking call it. They're like, yeah, you can come stay here. You have to come. It was 6 a.m. You have to come in at 11 a.m. And, uh, yeah, you can stay here. Guess who fucking started staying at a youth hostel for $14 a night? Oh so he found a place to stay. And, like, that, again, like, that. that is just, I don't know. How, like, I, I don't know what I would have done. Like, I really don't know what I would have done. I mean, I didn't even understand the concept of youth hostels until I went to Europe. And they were like, oh, you stay in a youth hostel. But right. if you were to come to Europe three years from now, you wouldn't be able to because you have to be under 25 or whatever it was. And I was like, yeah. oh, okay. so I'm I'm 23 or something like that when I go to New York, 23 or 24. And so I go there and now I got I got coins. And I'm calling this number that on the ocean holds on uh, the card. And hanging up every time a voicemail picks up. So I have that quarter. Oh, okay. Because you're not leaving right. a message if you get the quarter back. I'm like, I'm not just... right. So 
I got to talk to this guy. Yeah, he can't call you back anywhere. He's like, I'm, I'm at a 6th and 85th. Like, what? I don't have that number. So I keep calling over two days. And finally, he picks up. Are you the person that keeps calling and hanging up? And I'm like, yes, this is Ian Bag. Uh, I met you in Montreal, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. He said, well, come on down tonight and I'll put you on stage. And I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm like, yep. This is how it works. Yep. This is how it works. So I go down there and do my stupid Canadian set and eat shit. <laughs> and uh, Did you tank? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> because they what, about, weren't ready for, to hear about talking Canada? About eating, talking about eating blueberries because, you know, like, st you know, stuff like that. <laughs> So, but he's, for whatever known reason, like Lucian's, Lucian passed away and we didn't end on the greatest of terms, you know, we, uh, I, we didn't, but he fucking, he, he said, I see something come back tomorrow. Just kept putting me on stage. Just kept putting me on stage and would give me $20 a night. That's enough so for your I'm room. Getting, I'm getting a room and I'm also got $4 to fuck around with in New York. Well, City. yeah, that $4, man. And that, and that time, at that time, you know, like so that was, it was sometimes it would be my subway fare. Sometimes it would, you know, whatever. I think it was a dollar to take the subway that time, dollar 25. Oh, man. Sometimes I'd just walk up and, you know, just have an extra four dollars in my pocket. So, um, but I, I, I was there for three, four months. And I think about six weeks in one day, he said to me, um, Tonight, there's going to be a Conan O'Brien audition, and you're not going to be on it. And I said, well, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> yeah, great. I'll stay home. <laughs> <laughs> right? And you said, but what you will be doing is you'll be going on just before it. That way, if they don't show up, nobody gets missed. And you'll do the time to... Until to, they get know, there. Until they get there. And he said, but if they arrive on time, you get seen. And I'm like, okay. And afterwards, they asked to speak to me, and they said, we'd like to book you for the Conan O'Brien show. 